gentlemen, the first elimination. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going through the highlights of the first uh, 10 fights, the elimination fights. We'll just uh, quickly go through these fights and have a look, um, as because each fight is, uh, is two two-minute rounds, we can only show uh, highlights of these fights. It's the second fight of the night. Good aerial kicks there. A lot of strong fighters come out of the Middle East and uh, that, that don't, don't normally get to fight on the world circuit. Oh, good knee there, good knee. Number 39 followed by a good knee and is attempting, attempting a, um, a Tomanagi, a, a Taga, a Tagashinagi, sorry. The winner of that was Khalid Wasim. Coming up to the third fight now. Oh, there's a rollover axe kick that uh, connected, uh, connected, uh, Number 42 on the head, Ryan Diary on the head. Ryan fights out of Monty Allen. She had Monty Allen's dojo in Brooklyn, New York. Strong fighter. However, Fata moved on. Number 41 moved on to win that fight. Coming up to the fourth fight now. Good sweep takedown by number 43. This is Phil Jacobs out of Australia. Strong fighter, seasoned vet. Originally born in New Zealand, now studying at the MKK uh, Martial Arts Academy in Melbourne under George Colovis. Ladies and gentlemen, it looks like uh, Phil corner. Jacobs won't be able to go on. He's been declared a um, technical knockout. A lot of conditioning goes into these fights. If they're not conditioned, it uh, just won't work. Here's a Taekwondo fighter uh, from Canada. It's good to see Taekwondo competing in these tournaments. Normally, they're, they're not so much into the full contact fighting like this. But he seems to be doing quite well. John, very strong fighter. However, he did lose to that boy, and uh, it was just a great showing to see the guys here. A turning heel kick by number 49. Number 50, the Japanese boy, strong fighter. Uh, sorry, he's from China. He's not Japan. He's one of the Chinese fighters. Ooh. Stavros is from Greece. He's uh, good knees there. And he moved on to the second division. We have the seventh fight now. Ayoto is a favorite in this tournament. Uh, whether he'll be able to fight, sometimes the Japanese don't fight so good outside of Japan, but he's a Barakaran fighter, very strong fighter. He's uh, fighting in the world tournament at the end of this year, but he's come up against number 51, which is gonna be a hard draw because the Irani boy here is a very strong fighter. His name is Hosin Paul. Very strong and, and, and lined up to be one of the favorites in the top three of the fights uh, today. Here's the eighth fight uh, coming up now. Good boy, Kamaori. Kamaori's, uh, he's fighting Daniel Fox. Daniel, strong fighter, a lot of tournament experience, fighting at the MKK uh, Independent Kyokushin Organization, Shian George Colovis's group. And uh, number 54 there, uh, Kamaori. He's a strong boy, but I think Daniel's taken the lead and moved on to the next uh, level. Here we have Yahoo, number 55 from Korea, a judo fighter. Uh, this is his first event like this. Good strong leg kick. He's training in, uh, he came across to train in Thailand at the Shorinji Kempo, Sholin Kempo uh, School, International School of Martial Arts at WKO headquarters, just to get ready for the fight. and. Uh, Really, they only had time to teach him a punch and a leg kick. Uh, the rest of it, he's relying on his brute strength. 
You can see he's ripped the gi off his opponent there. Great fight. Here's uh, Shuto. Shuto, he's a um, strong, strong Japanese fighter. And uh, he's come up against uh, Abza. Sorry, Abuza. He's a strong boy, this Japanese boy. He holds his ground. It's whether he'll have the work rate to, to keep up with, uh, with them. And now it looks like the Japanese boy's work rate's not 